Today's harsh criticism request was sent in by Kevin Hansen. He's one of my subscribers on the channel, and he's been asking about me doing his draft for quite some time, so let's get started. SCP XXX Sleazy Supermarket. Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Any area the has the cape. Oh my god. When you have a typo in the very fr the first three words, I mean, because we're not going to consider the object class or the special, because that's a copy paste job. The first three words you wrote, there's a typo. Any area that has the capability of spawning an SCP instance is to be monitored covertly by hidden cameras disguised as objects in the area, such as street lamps and fire hydrants. Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. You're using already far more words than are necessary. Disguised as objects in the area is enough. You don't need to give me examples. Due to high public visibility when active, instances are to be put out of business via legal means. Quotation mark if possible when located. Legal in this situation applies to any method that is used by the law. No lawful reason the shutdown to the shut down the instance is needed. I think you mean to shut down the instance is needed. God damn it, motherfucker. Just basic read through would have caught that. That <sighs> You sent me a draft with very basic typos in it. What the fuck is wrong with you? I mean, it's all right if you make one here or there but you're making them over and over and over again, and they're very easy to spot. Because I'm not very good at spotting typos, but they're fucking so obvious. Also, here's a tip. Anytime you feel the need to include quotes around a thing in an SCP, just don't fucking do it. But if you're committed to this particular brand of stupidity, then just fucking don't immediately include a parenthetical that explains exactly what you mean, but what you put in quotes. Just say the thing in the first place. This is to be carried out by MTF November 28 Tricky Tycoons. Common methods of foreclosing SCP XXX instances included false foreclosure notes, fake health inspections, or purchase. No, there's no or in there. I'm just naturally, as reading, putting an or where there should be one. Ugh. Purchase of the land, etc. Okay, first of all, a fake health inspections and purchase of the land are not really foreclosures. That's not how that works. Foreclosure is, you know, a foreclosure. And also, this is what you mean earlier when you said legal foreclosure. You meant foreclosures, purchases, and condemning the building. So just say that. You spent three sentences fucking around. If none of these options are available, the instance is to be shut down by force, and all instances of SCP XXXX Dash 2 are to be taken into custody or terminated at Commander McHale's digression. Oh, oh. Who the fuck is Commander McHale? And how do the containment procedures shake out if he's dead or incapacitated? I mean, also, seriously, did you read this before you sent it to me? Because you, you write digression, but I think you mean discretion. Any successful raid of an SCP XXXX instance should have it entire stock be removed by D class personnel and be law. If you don't, after I read that out loud, understand exactly what your problems were, and there are multiple problems with the sentence structure there, I don't know what I can do for you, so I'm just going to move on. No personnel are to interact with an unlogged SCP XXXX 1 instance or any instance marked as dangerous. Any civilians fired due to replacement events are to be agnosticized. <laughs> Although I was an atheist before, but uh, after Foundation intervention, I now accept that there may be a god. I'm pretty sure you meant amnesticized, but you know, yeah. Let's see. The, the Foundation's now going to start agnosticizing people. That's a thing. Uh, and given a new job once the SCP has reverted to a normal supermarket, the two thousand dollars provided to citizen not citizens or not to the citizen but to citizen may be confiscated or not at head researcher phillips digression i'm just going to pretend you said discretion there even though you said digression again and also if you think about it the idea that head researcher phillips is just using the money to fund a lavish lifestyle until he dies of course and then no one knows what to do with the money because the containment procedures are too specific god damn well, let's move on to the description here. Description. Oh my god, that is a long paragraph. Oh boy. SCP XXX is an anomalous chain of supermarket grocery stores. Boy, you better tell me in the next sentence what the anomaly is. As it were generated by copying an existing supermarket and replacing it entirely, referred to as a replacement event. Okay, that's not exactly how I would structure things, but we'll go with it anyway. This can only occur two currently operating supermarkets. 
uh, uh, this can only occur to what the shit with all employees being sent a letter containing a document informing them of their termination and two thousand dollars or equivalent what what is the point of that detail anyway does he feel like a needless distraction from your overarching narrative and also just sending two thousand dollars to people is kind of stupid like I, I don't see the point of that. that that's just an extra complication you don't need replacement events occur every month at the minimum with the longest recorded time in between replacement events being exactly one year well sir the statistics department has figured out that the replacement events occur at least once a month oh uh, excellent uh uh, also, while we were collecting data, we uh, noticed that there was one year where no replacements events happened. Uh, you just said it happened once a month. Sir, uh, full disclosure, we're not actually very good at math. Oh boy. These stores commonly sell anomalous foodstuffs and goods, referred to as scp xxxx one Most instances of it are dangerous to humans through digestion or simply touch. Simply touch, as opposed to complex touch? So addendum dash two for a short list of all acquired, blah blah blah. Where are the staff security working in? Oh god, now we're talking about the employees. Instances that are created at the same time as their respective blah blah blah. Instances are biologically the same as humans, with the exception of lacking an appendix and having a total of 12 toes. So, kind of like how this is similar to a good article, with the exception that it's actually shit. Instances of scp xxx 2 utilize dirty and underhanded methods to sell their goods. You know what that isn't? That's not a good clinical tone! God damn it! <laughs> dirty and underhanded, be goddamn specific! Even if the object they are attempting to sell will cause extreme pain or death to the customer, my fucking god. We went from potentially interesting to deadly in one sentence. That's fucking great. On one occasion, they are attempting to sell the dismembered limbs of a deceased patron. Now we're getting edgy. It's unknown whether it thinks this is how the law works. What's the this in that sentence? It's unknown whether it thinks this is how the law works. What? The law works as selling d dismembered limbs of a deceased patron? That's not a law. I mean, there's a law against that. I think what you mean is like, they think it's okay to sell limbs of dismembered <laughs> patrons. Oh man. Uh, that's not a sentence I ever thought I'd say in my life. What the fuck are you even talking about here? Are they the selling things? Dismembering people and selling them? Replacing supermarkets? I don't I don't know. Or they are intentionally being underhanded. Mm. SCP XXX-2 instances display a marked lack of knowledge to our reality? I think you mean of. I think you accidentally did a preposition in there somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Instances of SCP will be shut down after receiving any sort of legal warning, legitimate or not. So, everything that you've ever said about in the containment procedures or elsewhere about how to shut these down outside of legal warnings, you could just serve them a legal warning and they shut down automatically. <sighs> wow. Okay. So. You know, I didn't point this out in your containment procedures, but it applies here. Yeah, that was all one paragraph. Why is that all one paragraph? You have multiple discrete ideas being communicated, but you just made it into one big block of text. The supermarket, the employees, the products, the legal ramifications. These are all individual discrete ideas that could be communicated in their own paragraphs with their own focus. Instead, you just decided to pack all four different things into one supersized piece of shit. Paragraph, stop it! Stop it right now! You, sir, are a word criminal, and I will not be party to your butchering of the English language anymore. I want you to take this in the spirit it is given. Please don't take it personally, but fuck you and fuck your fucking face. I will note, in reading the rest of your draft, I found a single piece that was useful, that had intrinsic value, and honestly, I suggest you just start all over again and work from that idea. A frozen box of corn dogs. Corn dogs resembled cartoonish dogs with small legs. Corn dogs were sentient and had intelligence comparable to average dogs. Dogs require no feeding or care. Dogs are inedible. Just do that. Just fuck this thing and do that, because trust me, People fucking love dogs. Uh, other than that, you know what? 
for your egregious crimes against the English language, I sentence you to stand in a supermarket checkout line for the rest of your life. May God have mercy on your soul.